let's get into this. So <laughs> we have another Internet of Jay video. <laughs> At this point, I think a Jay basically, um, I think he has a, a, a stake in my content. He owns like, I think he owns like 30% of the stocks of my content. Oh. <laughs> these are always fun to watch, man. I enjoy these. Uh, the shockingly dark past of Bella Porch. All right. I wonder what's going to be so dark and mysterious about her. Ooh, did she date a black guy? Like, what the fuck's, like, what, what's going on? All right, like what? What is? What could you possibly have dug? Dug? dug oh, I think I know. A J. Wait a minute. I remember because I was actually big on TikTok. I forgot that I was a TikToker at one point. Okay, there was a time. I think she has like a, a tattoo. Um, that's like, uh, uh, bro, what was the tattoo? I can't remember the specifics, but it's uh, it's some kind of tattoo, like Japanese um racism tattoo against koreans or something is that what it is is that i don't i mean like i don't really the red sun is that what it is um red sun uh racism i don't really know how it, i i that's what i remember yeah okay we had like a thing here the tiktok influencers rising sun tattoo sparks racial tensions yeah 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 uh blah 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 sorry it's a tattoo okay daily dot reports Oh, I apologize uh, to Koreans because six months ago I got a tattoo of the Red Sun, which, which was 16 rays. At the time, I didn't know the history, but when I found out, I immediately had it covered in uh, schedule for removal. Okay. Oh, whatever. Oh, okay. Let's yeah, go. I don't know yeah. how this is, what it, is this? she popped off like that, but I mean, TikTok, we've seen every everybody pop off. It's not funny. It's not creative. It's not good looking. It's, it's, it's not thoughtful. It's not well produced. It's just there. That's that's every that's every TikToker though. You know what I'm saying, man? Like I'm not trying to be that guy. That's every TikToker. Listen, Bella Porch is just another attractive girl that gets views for having no real talent. And I'm not trying to be mean. I, I know I know that the same with me. I'm an attractive, I'm a very handsome guy. I'm like a ten out of ten. Like I'm I'm dumb as shit too. I don't say anything particularly profound. But like that's what it really is though. It's a lot of people who get attractive because they're or they get big because they're attractive. Like, oh, she can sing. Oh, she can kind of sing. Me too, bro. <clears throat> I can sing too. Okay, I sing on my stream all the time. I sing Pokemon sometimes. And sometimes I'll sing some other stuff. But like, really, that's what it boils down to. Most, most TikTok is just, is just BS. This is my outfit for today. Okay. And you don't like it. And she shows her titties. You could leave. Okay, love you. And she does dress up like a younger person. That's a thing. I... True. Watching that one made me wanted to like curl her in a ball and practice my drop kicking. Boom! Uh, it probably made him want to curl her in a ball and fuck her. Like, let's be honest. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Simi Singh here. Today, I'm going to be talking it. about Bella Porch. She is a TikToker who currently has over 87 million followers. To put that into perspective, I only have about 2,500 followers on. Actually, it says that you have 87 million followers when you have 86. Uh, a million five hundred thousand followers, Ajay. So it's possible that she has under eighty-seven million. I wish you knew that. Like, how uneducated do you have to be? <laughs> Instagram. So that's a whopping thirty-four thousand eight hundred times more than me. So shameless plug. Please give me a follow. Bro, Ajay, why are you plugging the Instagram so hard? I, you don't even do anything with it. You haven't posted anything since the last time I looked at it, bro. It's just it's just pictures of you in the same pose as my mother. I'm just I don't I I understand plugging your content, right? I right at the bottom of my screen, oh like I have a bunch of like just links that will remind you that in my comments or in my my description of all my videos, you can find a link to everything at the, at the side at this side of me right here. Like that. Ooh. But like there's there's substance to them, right? Right? There's my YouTube. But I also have a mom and papa gut YouTube, and I have um, I have a I have a shorts one that's down here, and then I have a Twitch that I stream on, and then I have this Instagram which I put clips on, and I have this TikTok which I put clips on, but then I also have another TikTok that I just fucking shit post on, and then Twitter where I put TikTok when I put clips on, and then Facebook is like a repl is where you can, you can go and watch my videos usually sooner because YouTube's been fucking with me, right? I get it, but what, but what you, this is what is this? I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm just confused. There are a lot of apps. Yeah, I'm listen, bro. I'm a grind this year. Anyway, what the f go? But internet J because that's just embarrassing. Anyways, Bella's story is wildly fascinating because she ascended to fame Maybe. at an astronomical rate. She created her TikTok less than two years ago, but found success pretty much immediately. 
She currently has the most liked TikTok of all time as the third most followed individual on the platform and released the hit single Build a Bit. I guess I bet you guys don't know about Jeff Corette from TikTok. Jeff Corette. You guys don't know about Jeff Corette. Okay, Jeff Corette is a TikToker who, <laughs> listen, Jeff is genuinely a nice guy, but Jeff also doesn't shut the fuck up about how he cre uh, he created the trend that Pella Port uses and she stole it from him. I, just, I, I don't know if a Jay included that in this video, but it, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but Jeff, shut the fuck up, brother. I love you, but shut the fuck up. Anyway. Unfortunately, though, Bella was often criticized for her accomplishments, with some claiming she didn't deserve it. Initially private, Bella... Who does, brother? Bella ...recently decided to open up about her past on the H3 podcast in June 2021. In it, she revealed she was abused as a child and was a Navy veteran. This video is going to shed light on the dark past behind her fame. Before I get into it, I just want to thank today's sponsor, Display. Display is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. As you increase sturdy tools and it won't... In my opinion... Philippines in his 24. Please subscribe to me. Ugh. Bella Porch was born on February 8, 1997, in the Philippines and is 24 years old as of the making of this video. Huh. She was raised by her grandmother in the slums, who later gave her up for adoption. The Sadly, slums. Porch mentioned she didn't even know her biological parents. Was actually living with my grandma, and it was like in the slums. Like we were very poor. Mm. So yeah. So you live with you grew up kind of in a poor, especially poor place. Yeah. In the Philippines with your grandma. Mm -hmm. Did you ever know your biological parents? No. Bella was later. If you're poor, just get some money, bro. Like I don't get it. Adopted at the age of three by her American <laughs> father, who was a veteran and Filipino mother. She lived on a large farm in the Philippines with them, along with her brother, two adopted sisters, and a multitude of animals that she had to take care of. Porch mentioned her upbringing was difficult because she had to wake up at 4 a.m., finish chores, then be at school by 6:30. Tell me about your, I'm just curious, you worked on a farm, like what was yeah, your daily schedule? Um, it was uh, very hard actually, because I have to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Ooh. 4 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. I do, oh my Actually, God. 4 a.m. would be late. Sometimes I have to wake up at 3 if I want to get to school in time, because in the Philippines, school starts at like 6.30. Oh my wow. God. Yeah. So I have to be able to finish all the chores. So I'd be sweeping the yard, like picking up dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of dog shit. Outside. Yeah, I'd be cleaning up the cat cat house because we had a cat house. Mm -hmm. And I'd be sweeping goat poop, <laughs> the goat pen. And if she did- hey, at least you had pet, pet goats. That's cool. I wish I had a pet goat. She didn't do a good job cleaning. Her father would sometimes deprive her of breakfast. And I have Jesus to Christ. clean up real good. Because if I don't, then my stepdad would um, get mad at me and he'd be like, oh, you're not eating breakfast if you don't get this done. Wow. So, yeah. That sounds like, like, I think, bordering on abusive. It sounds like it. Here's the thing, right? Because this is actually a real conversation. If you deprive your child, dude, there's a ghost here. I'm fu every fuck, whatever. Stop it, please. Anyway. If you ever deprive your child of food, that is abuse, right? However, let's if you personalize it a little bit, I don't think telling your kid you won't feed him is abusive. You know what I mean? Now, now, like let's say I was I want my kid to clean their room, and I was like, you got to clean your room or you're not going to eat. You think that's abusive? No, it's a it's a, it's an empty threat. But how the, the asshole won't clean his room? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but if you actually do deprive them of food, if they do, then that does that is abusive. Right, that's abusive. Okay, so I just want you know, just gotta make sure we understand that specifically. Um, you know, I don't think that that one instance is enough to be like that's abusive. You know, it was evident her dad was cruel and worked her like a slave as a young child. It's I don't know if that's necessarily evident. I didn't watch the H three thing. Maybe it's like a lot worse than I think. But from what a Jay showed me, that's not really evident. I I think that like okay, you got to get up really early and you got to do chores, which is like yeah, I get it. Sucks. And then he would say, if you don't do it, I'm not going to let you eat. That sucks. But did we know if he actually deprived the food? Um, you know, it sounds like a, an American farm boy or farm girl, you know, working on a farm, you get up early, you got to do your chores and you got to go to, you got to go to, you got to go to school. You know what I mean? I just don't know if I would say that this is a, like, absolutely is abusive right off the bat, you know? <clears throat> It seemed as if he adopted Bella and her brother with that intention in mind. He was also apparently extremely Maybe. lazy because he locked himself in his room all day, which was the only one with air conditioning. He sits That's in his up. room like six days a week. Porch stated she and her brother were- Okay, that wasn't enough. What, was there more to that? 
A J? Okay. We're responsible for cutting the grass by hand with a sickle. It was even taller than her and harbored snakes. So we would be responsible for like cutting the grass by hand. By hand? <laughs> by, yeah, by hand. Oh, that's just, that's just, and that's, just that's just. Sometimes. With a, with like a sickle, a scythe? Is that what we're talking about? Like that's, they just didn't, have, they didn't have a lawnmower. This is, were they in the Philippines? I don't know. So far, I feel like we're just in cultural differences. Sometimes yeah. the grass would be like taller than me. Because back then I was like seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I was always scared of snakes, but I don't, yeah, me and my brother would just cut the grass. Like, just with like shears? A sickle. Oh, a sickle. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's like a long farming in implement. <clears throat> you ever see somebody use a sickle to cut, to cut grass? With all like S. I can't spell. Yeah, it looks like this. This is what she does. She's talking oh, about. I'm, I'm in the she's on each lawn to mow and to collect. This triangular lawn is about 500 square meters. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's uh, not as bad as it sounds. I think. Maybe a, is a sickle a different than a scythe? We're talking about this? Are they talking about this instead? Oh, they're talking about maybe they're talking about this. Okay. If the grass got taller than her, does that mean that she, they weren't really cutting it that low? I don't know. One of those two things they were cutting grass with. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think a seven-year-old should be wielding a sickle under any circumstances unless they are the Grim Reaper. Um, I mean, I don't know if I necessarily agree. I mean, if they're working on a farm, whatever, like. They're working on a farm. I don't know, bro. I feel like we're we're being a little first worldy here. You know, again, maybe Bella Porch, maybe it was worse than I than I, I think, but from like what she's saying versus the reactions of a Jay and, a, and Ethan, it seems like it's what? You had to cut grass like <laughs> with a sickle? Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? My mom used to get, make me get up really early too over the summer. Um, I think I would get up around f sometimes four or five, it depended. Sometimes a little later, and then she would bring me and on the weekends and drop me off at my uncle's deli, and I would work there for like twelve, sometimes ten, twelve, fourteen hours, and I get twenty dollars. Uh, is that abusive? I don't think so. I teach me to work, and you want to know what? I was also a kid. And I probably sucked at the job, so like it was mostly like you know it was something that like an adult could have done in an hour. You know, so like it's like a, it's babysitting. It's teaching you hard work. It doesn't sound like it was that. It sounds like a cultural difference. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, man. This was without a doubt child abuse. I, from what I've seen so far, I disagree. <laughs> to make matters worse, her stepmother didn't speak up against anything, and she was called stupid bitch. I just call my wife a stupid bitch all the time. <laughs> Maybe I should watch the interview. Uh, maybe we'll watch the interview another time because I feel like I'm not getting the greatest representation. It might be worse than it really is, but... I felt like she could have, you know, said something about it. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, but she was very silent about it. Hmm. Jeez. And, like, my nickname was, like, Stupid Bitch growing up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that was my what? nickname. Okay. One time she went to school... Wait, what? Very silent. She could have. Her stepmother didn't speak up against anything, and she was called stupid bitch. Oh, sh oh, Belle Porch was called stupid bitch. I thought they were the, 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 whatever. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'll have to watch that in, like, another video, the, the, their podcast, which is very long. One time, she went to school with a bleeding swollen hand, and her own teacher didn't care or ask any questions. I went mm -hmm. to school one time with a swollen hand on my right hand, and it was, like, bleeding, and I tried to, like, stop the bleeding before I got to school, but it was really bad. And... Um, my teacher was asking me, why am I so like slow at writing that day? Because, like, and I hello. told her, yeah, my hands are swollen and I can't write with my right hand. So I had to write with my left hand and she was just like, oh, okay, just hurry the fuck up. And I'm like, okay, like wow. nobody gives a shit. No questions. Asked. So, wow. yeah. Wow. Fortunately though, her time under the heavyweight. Sounds like the Philippines sounds like a shitty place to live, honestly, based off of that. ...of mistreatment started to decrease. Due to heart issues, her father required bypass surgery and went to Texas for three months to get it. And when he was gone, Porch was incredibly happy as she could finally sit on the couch. Tell me about the experience of him being gone. It was, it was fun. I get to watch TV. I get to sit on the couch. Because I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to sit on the couch. What? Yeah. So me and my brother would be watching movies and we would be sitting on the floor. Eventually, the entire family moved to Texas. To I don't know. 
I have to sit on the floor too. I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. Maybe, I don't think I was abused as a child. I mean, these don't sound great. I'm going to be honest with you. It, it's just like, it sounds ab- abusive to uh, our standards. I don't know if it was abusive to like the Philippine standards because it seemed like the teachers didn't give a shit. That's still shitty. I don't know. I I haven't heard her say it was, she felt abused. She, she said, she, she's like, she's like, oh yeah, this was shitty. I don't know, man. Maybe I have to, like I said, maybe I have to watch the full thing. Due to her father. Maybe watch There's health thing. issues, but she still wasn't allowed to go out and do normal teenage-related activities. In oh. fact, she endured the abuse until she graduated from high school and joined the Navy at the age of 17. Ironically, Port said she had a lot of freedom there compared to her home life. This was a testament to just how much she suffered growing up. Porch's life changed forever in January 2020 when she was forced by her friends to download TikTok while stationed in Hawaii. However, she didn't start making TikToks until several months later. Bella uploaded one of her first TikToks on April 10, 2020, which featured her sitting on a bed playing a video game. It wasn't hard to recognize that Bella was wearing short shorts and trying to appeal to gamers. Unsurprisingly, her strategy worked as the video soon received 10,000 views. Bella then continued making TikToks featuring her cute facial features juxtaposed with her many tattoos. In addition, she often displayed her characteristically long pigtails. I suspect all of this greatly increased her appeal to the TikTok community as no one else really looked like her. Um, just gifted one sub. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. I mean, there's a lot of overly sexualized adult women who dress like girls, little girls on TikTok. I'm not, listen, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Um, it's just kind of true. Thank you for the sub. She was this mis- It's really just like a fight to the top for all the for all the thirst the thirst traps and thoughts. Let's be honest, man. It's kind of TikTok. Uh. Mysterious combination of cute and badass at the same time. It wasn't all fun and games for her though. In the Simp. Navy, Bella suffered from horrible <laughs> depression with thoughts of suicide. That's she was sad. even placed in the psych ward for several days. So when's the first time? So you were in the Navy for four years. Mm-hmm. And uh I guess at the end of four years, they probably, you had an option to like renew your contract or mm-hmm. to go do something. So what did you decide? Um, I decided to leave. I mean, I didn't really have an option because um, my mental health was getting really bad in the military. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so why. my doctors decided, we don't think you should mm-hmm. renew your contract. I think you should just take a break mm. what kind yeah. of symptoms were you experiencing? um i was really depressed like very depressed and like uh, my ptsd was getting worse mm. yeah so you ptsd from or like and what like withdrawn were you like suicidal at, at yeah any point really yeah i yeah very suicidal so like you had like visions of wanting to hurt yourself or like what what was it like um, for you at the um time? yeah i was thinking about it and also i actually attempted Mm. You did. Yeah. You- I wonder why. Someone said she never uh, seen, never went to combat. I wonder why. Did they say in the thing? I guess I have to watch it. But like, it, it's possible that they're like, listen, I'm not trying to be that guy. Well, I am actually trying to be that guy, bro. <clears throat> there's a lot of issues in our, even our military, the United States military, of like horrible sexual assault, all swept under the rug. Nobody cares when it comes to women. So. I'm not saying that's what happened. I don't know. I didn't watch it yet, but like it's possible just because she didn't see combat doesn't mean that she didn't like experience that particular issue, you know, because it seems weird that she went in there. Um, <clears throat> she went into like the military and she's like, oh, it was, it was, I felt more free than at home. And then she's having like mental health issues. So well, I'm not saying that she's not, ha- not having them at all. I'm not saying she's a liar in any capacity. I'm saying like, well, what's, what is the, what's the common denominator here? Like, what's the thing that made her like, you know, um, so, you know, just speculation. Attempted once while you were in the army. Yes, in the Navy, and it had to be in a psych ward for like five days. Due to her deteriorating Damn. mental health, she decided to leave the Navy after serving four entire years. Fortunately, she still had TikTok as a positive outlet. On August 17, 2020, she uploaded a head bop TikTok in which she lip synced along to the Millie B song, M to the B. Um, shout out to Jeff Corette, because he created that trend, and she stole it. Jeff, Shout out to Jeff Corette. Shout out to Jeff Corrett, guys. He made that song. Jeff, come on. Make a TikTok after watching this video and put me in the video and say, yes, I did create the head bob and I'm responsible for Jeff. For, I am responsible for Bella Porch's success. All right, Jeff, can you still trend? TikTok is literally just trend stealing, okay? The video exploded in views and is currently the most liked TikTok on the platform, even beating mine saying Mini Lad is more sus than a character from Among Us. 
As of today, it has 54.5 million likes, 2 million comments, and 661.5 million views. Unfortunately, Porch faced criticism for getting so successful off a of TikTok where she didn't say a single word and use someone else's song. Zoom face filter equals views. How 30 million likes, all she did was move her head. She I got uh, 35 million views once on TikTok for tw uh, twerking. <clears throat> That's all it took, brother. I, uh, James Charles, this was before James Charles was a bad boy, or we, at least we knew that he was a bad boy. He did a twerk, and I said, I could do that better. Boom, twerk, 35 million views. Poggers. He literally removed his video, by the way. I'm not, this isn't actually a joke. I literally defeated James Charles on TikTok. He made a video where he twerked, okay? I took that video, and I said, I could do this better. I twerked. I got 35 million views out off of it, and then he removed his video. This isn't a joke. I'm dead fucking serious, bro. This act I literally defeated James Charles. How do you like that? That's who you guys have been watching for the past year. Is the literally the only man who's ever defeated James Charles. Because most of the time, it's boys that are defeating him. She even had a random band-aid on her chin. As a result of the aftermath, she uploaded a video crying as someone reacted negatively to her song saying, I know I'm not the only- <laughs> I'm sorry, that was fucked up. I know I'm not the only one who wants to drop a haymaker on her. That's fucked up, bro, but it's funny. It's funny, man. That comes with the territory, bro. You get famous for doing the absolutely jack shit, and some people fucking are angry. And I get it. But you know what? You're still successful. So who gives a shit about this guy? That was his 15 minutes of fame. I remember that TikTok, though. The one who wants to drop a haymaker on her. <laughs> In addition, multiple other YouTubers and streamers called her out. It's just a face tracking filter and a lip sync. It's like anything else you will have seen on Musical.ly or Vine. True. And that's why it's the most viewed TikTok ever. Really setting that bar for content within the reach of absolutely anyone. God damn it! I'm sick of seeing her face. Bella Backyard over here contorting her features to be all- Bella Backyard, I get it. I get it. Bell Backyard, Bell Porch, yep. Cutesy like gives me the rage to take down the Chinese government from the inside. Is that like racially motivated? Isn't she from the Philippines? That <laughs> felt a little racist. Okay. XQC, arguably the largest streamer on Twitch in terms of size, but smallest in- He's not that- f I'm much larger than him. Look at me. In terms of, well, size, even asked where's the content after watching her videos. Guys, where's the content, bro? What the f*** am I looking at? This is TikTok. Is this their first time ever seeing TikTok before? Like, I'm not really defending Bella Porch because she doesn't really, like, she didn't get blow up for having a talent other than being attractive. But, like, what? This is literally TikTok. Like, this is TikTok. This is what TikTok is. Dude, I thought my shit had no content. I'm, I'm telling you. Dude, 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 I thought my. Dude. This shit making my shit look like a fucking gold mine. Instead of giving up, Porch what? just ignored the hate and continued making TikTok. Talks. Well, she cried. You said she cried. She didn't quite ignore the hate. Fortunately, her effort paid off as her follower count exploded like a white person on the toilet after eating chicken tikka. Her I just, why? <laughs> okay. Her growth was astonishing and she hit 30 million followers by October 20. Hey, she blew up like a Jay in his bedroom after watching a Bella Porch video because he cummed. How do you like that one? That's funny. There you go. <laughs> that's my new thing, by the way. The left. That's my new thing. It's going to be the new thing for a week. 20. Mind you, this was only seven months after posting her first one. Bella was actually the fastest growing TikToker in August 2020, beating out Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Ray. It was probably because they were already larger, but okay. As a result of her massive popularity, she collaborated with Bretman Rock, ZHC, Valkyrie, and even Mr. Beast. Correct. Moving hold beyond on. TikTok, Bella. Oh, hold on. She collaborated with Bretman Rock, ZHC, Valkyrie. Array and even he look at just even Mr. Beast. He looks so awkward sitting down next to her, and she looks awkward sitting next to him. She's like leaning away from him. Ugh. Like, ew, don't touch me, neck beard. <laughs> Moving beyond TikTok, Bella signed with Warner Records and released a hit song called Build a Bitch on May 14, 2021. And I think James Charles was supposed to be in it, but they removed him from it. Currently, it has about 350 million views. Although I think the title may have originated from an old vine I saw when I was a teenager. Guys are like, I don't want much, but she has to have a boob, big butt, and also eyes, teeth. Yeah, too. Same Build a Bitch workshop. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. In August 2021, she released another song called Inferno starring Ludwig, Pokimane, Fusely, and more. As of today, it has about 90 million views. Cringe. Although Bella is at the top of TikTok, her career wasn't without drama. In late 2020, she was there accused of cultural ignorance when viewers called her out for having a rising sun tattoo. Some people pointed out it represented Japanese imperialism and oppression over Koreans. 
As a result, Porch tweeted this. I apologize to Koreans because six months ago I got a tattoo of the red sun with 16 rays. At that time, I didn't know the history. But when I found out, I immediately had it covered and scheduled for removal. I am ashamed of myself for not doing my research. I sincerely apologize. In October 2020, her tattoo artist posted this on his Instagram and revealed that the tattoo was in fact covered up. <laughs> that doesn't look too covered up. <laughs> put a snake around it. Other than that, that, Bella has also been accused of being rude. For example, she oh, was shown. Oh no! <laughs> Fucking I, who isn't, bro? If you're, if you, <laughs> he accused of being rude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Ignoring uh, and talking minimally to the paparazzi on two occasions. Hey, what's up, Bella? How's it going? Are you doing all right today? So you recently got raided by TikTok insiders as one of the next big TikTokers to blow up. How do you feel about that? She have like a thumbs up. Is that what she did? One of the next big TikTokers to blow up. How do you feel about that? Okay. Hey, what's up, Bella? How are you? How's your day going so far? I don't think Bella was trying to be rude and was just nervous. No, I think that she's trying to be rude, and I completely agree. Like, I, I would do the same thing. Like people walk up to me, and I'm nice all the time, but like. She's she's fucking like famous. She's big. People like really walk up to her, and they're just paparazzi looking for her to say something stupid so they can fucking make a like a fucking write something stupid in a fucking article. She doesn't really want to talk to you. Who cares? I hate this. I, I you know like I kind of hate this whole. I hate this whole narrative that like you have to as a as a content or whatever celebrity in some capacity you have to be like nice to everybody. Like I think you should be nice to, like your fans. But then, like, the paparazzi are horrible, ruthless fucking animals, bro. Like, you see what they did to Britney Spears? I'm like, fuck off, bro. I would just tell you to fuck yourself. I'd say, bro, fuck off. Like, I'm not trying to deal with your shit today. That's literally what I would do. I would just say, dude, fuck off. I'd say, suck my balls. <clears throat> I'd do that. Like, I don't care. It's paparazzi. And if you're a paparazzi person and you're like, wow, that makes me feel like less of a human, well, oh, oh well, you are. I don't know what to tell you, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. I got a new job, idiot. <laughs> That's a new thing. I'm not doing that anymore. She probably wasn't used to the invasive intention and also revealed she had social anxiety. Plus, let's be honest here. Not everyone wants to talk to the paparazzi. What has been the biggest fear in my career? People. <laughs> I have social anxiety. And I don't know, I just get really nervous around people. Overall, Bella Porch is a singer and TikToker who's remarkably successful. Did she put as much effort into her craft as some others who weren't lucky enough to hit TikTok's algorithm? Uh, most people on TikTok put like no effort into their shit, but yeah. Obviously not. Although I guess you gotta learn to dance. You gotta like, what? Look, look. <laughs> I guess so. But she is marketable and played her cards well and you can't blame her for that. Remember, she's a military veteran who endured an abusive childhood to become the superstar she is today. Not many creators can- She's not gonna date you, Ajay. Come on. ...say they used to maintain weapons for a living. What was your <laughs> job in the Navy? Um, I was in aviation ordinance. Hmm. So I had to take care of basically <laughs> any weapons that go into an aircraft. Hmm. Wow, a yeah. weapons expert? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, what was your job with the weapons exactly? Um, we- Take them apart and then oh. we clean them. The and then big we... ass, like hell. Of course, you got a woman cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Pop their guns. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. And then we put them back together and then we make sure they work. And while I also consider it a twist of fate that the tattoos Bella got because of her abusive past ended up helping her launch her career by giving her a trademark look. Honestly, I think Porch is inspiring, especially considering she is self-made and did it all on her own. I feel like she faced a lot of unfair criticism for her fame and wanted to shed light on her dark past to show there's more than meets the eye with her. Notably, Bella is also becoming more interactive and starting to branch out by doing more appearances and interviews. I think this will be good for her brand over- Yeah, it might have been a little hard for her to do appearances and interviews because it was COVID when she blew up. <laughs> <laughs> We've all forgot that one. <laughs> For all, as people will see, she's an interesting person and not a one-dimensional TikToker. I, I don't know. She doesn't seem super interesting, but... I wish Bella the best and hope she continues to make wonderful content for her millions of fans to enjoy. Very Thanks cool. so much for watching. Please consider giving me a like and subscribing to my channel if you want to see more of this type of content. Very cool, Jay. Thank you so much, brother. That was a good video. I loved it. My favorite one so far.